Hi everyone. So we have I have a really fun activity for you guys to do this week. There are a few things that you have to have before we get started. So I know some of you will have had written out the items that you need, but for those who are not yet writing, um, we need a cereal box and you can ask your parents to cut this in half for you. So we have two separate pieces. You're going to cut it in half so we have one big piece um, of cardboard. If you don't have a cereal box, you could also use um, any kind of box that just cut off the one side so we have a flat piece. If you don't have any boxes, um, you can use a couple of pieces of paper stuck together and then to make it sturdy, because we need it pretty sturdy, you can just put those pieces of paper on a cookie sheet. So um, once your box is cut in half, you need to also get some straws, tape, any kind of tape. I have um, painter's tape here, but you can also use masking tape or any other tape you have around really. You need a marker, scissors, for those parents who, um, or those students who are learning to cut, parents can help them cut out the stuff. I would recommend that the box um, be cut out by, for all the kids, by the parents, for safety. And then the last thing we need is a some Play-Doh, whoop, mine is a little worn out, but some Play-Doh and a car. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're taking our box and we are going, let me move this down a little bit. So you're taking the box and you're going to be drawing, you're going to be drawing two circles, small ovals, in the middle. There'll be a smaller one in the middle and a bigger one on the outside. Okay, then what you're going to be doing is making the racetrack. So we've got our outer ring and our middle ring but in order to have barriers, we need to put some straws down. So what you're going to do is take your scissors and the straws and cut them into three. So it will make three fairly big size pieces for each straw. Uh, depending on how big your box is will depend on how many straws you might need. Um, I have four here, but we can always see how many we need and add or take out later on. Okay, you may need to cut out a few smaller pieces as well for the middle circle, just because um, it is a smaller space. So I have those smaller pieces already cut out, just to make this a little quicker. There we go. And what we're going to start doing is, and this is really good um, practice to rip, is um, getting the kids to rip the tape themselves. The best way to help kids to rip is to make a little, to start it for them. So that they then, you give it to them like this and then they um, will rip it from there. And what you're going to be doing is sticking the pieces onto the box to make your racetrack.
make sure that when you're putting the pieces on, you've got the joins all touching so that you don't have gaps in between. If they start getting tired, you can definitely rip some of the tape, the tape for them. Um, this will also work on hand strength through the ripping and trying to get it apart. And then putting the, the, the straws onto the, the track and onto the lines works on um, precision and control. Um, for our younger kids, you might want to put the tape on for them and you just give them the instruction, put on and point to where they must be putting the piece and um, they can then add the straw onto that spot. Most of them are really, really good at, at tasks where you're indicating where they need to put on an item. So you just put the tape on like that, you give it to them and you say, put on and you point and then they would take it and stick it on. I think I've got the perfect amount. the outside and now I'll start putting on the pieces for the inside. To make it go if they're starting to get a little um, frustrated because it's taking long, join two pieces together and so they, they can then stick them like that. This is also a time where um, our creative little minds come out of our kids, which is awesome because they can also make a different shape um, racetrack if they would like. Um, they can put decorations inside, so there might be a start, start line, um, there might be some trees, there might be some bumps that the cars have to go over. Um, so once they've got the outside going, let them be creative and add in extra pieces. Doing the basic design is also perfect. Okay, so I've got my racetrack. It is oval at this point. Um, we could have made it um, kind of a zigzag or um, kind of wavy if you wanted to, but I'm gonna just keep it um, straight for now. Um, so what I can also do is I wanna add in a bit of a start and stop. So I'm drawing some lines. That's my start line. You can also write start and finish and for our younger kids, you can just grab a um, car and they can drive their car in down the racetrack. Obviously, make sure that you've made the car either small enough or the racetrack big enough to fit the car. And this is working on manipulation, and it's just really fun to drive around the racetrack. The other option is grab a piece of Play-Doh, roll it into a ball, they can either use both their hands to roll it or if they really can, do that right in the middle of their fingers with one hand, put it onto the track, pick it up, this is why you would maybe need a, a tray 
and they've got to roll it around all the way around the racetrack. And see how many times they can get around in 30 seconds or a minute or even just trying to get it around the maze of, um, of tape and straws would be fun and, and really hard work for, the, for some of them, not like you guys. So that is my maze and my um, cars and Play-Doh. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, send some pictures. Let me see what you guys have made. And I hope you guys are all going to be really creative and show me your best racetracks and mazes. Have fun, guys.